This free acrylic tutorial is being brought to you by the Ginger Cook Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting and contributions from caring viewers like you. Now, on with the show. And now, without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the Queen of Color, the Mother of Artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning Master Acrylic Artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylic. Oh, shows butt. What did you forget to turn on? Well, I thought the other screen would be circumvented and you'd be on top right underneath Sammy, but it didn't work that way. But you're on now, so just don't stand there staring <laughs> at me. Talk to your fans. You know, Talk I, to your favorite one, people. One, one time I'd like to start this show, I had some clue we'd started it. Oh, I, just, <laughs> I tried the light. You didn't like that. I do the waving. You don't like it. What are you waving for? Hello. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hi, you guys. This is Ginger Cook. We're doing a live show. And we always How do you know it's live? How do they know it's live? I don't know. How do they know it's live? That's a good question. <laughs> we, we said so. <laughs> it must be so. Remember that? You say so, I say so. Must I say be so, so, must be so. Must be so. Okay. So since it must be so, we're live. This is going to be fun. We've got some volunteer moderators that are going to keep the chat fun and happy. You can ask the artist questions if you have a question. Ask for the th artist. Ooh, that means I'm an artist. And you can ask, I've got a thought here, keep <laughs> zip it. So um, you can ask the artist questions that we related to me from John over there, who uh, was sitting in the corner with a little piece of tape over his mouth. <laughs> 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 and uh, anyway, what's kind of nice about that, if you have a question, you got to put it in all caps. When we get a group going here, sometimes the questions run fast and furious. And sometimes if our moderators know the answer, they might need to just put a link in. Sometimes you're going to hear a sound like this, and that means somebody asked a phenomenal question, and you have won a prize. And, of course, this is just for our live audience. If you are making comments after the show in the comment, which we hope you will, we, that is not a feature for that. But we might still answer your question on another show if you've written something really super on a for, for, and, and might even mention your name. So you never know. So in any event, that's what we're going to be talking about, painting snow tonight. And here's the thing. Yes, John, you have a question? A couple comments just came through before they disappeared. Ginger, your hair looks marvelous tonight. Wow, Ginger, you're looking stunning. Ginger, I love your t-shirt. And there's one more. Something about ginger again. It's all ginger. Ginger <laughs> looks amazing. I was going to say, I love her hair tonight. Thank you know, you. I'm going to start curling my hair. We could do that. Would you like to? Uh, no. Your hair is naturally curly anyway. Just I don't have time for this. I know. I am busy up here. I know. We, we have been busy. Really, we have been busy all day, you guys. And thank you very much for those kind words. You know, um, you know you're getting older. <laughs> when you listen to the the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and the wicked stepmother starts having a point of view, you know what I mean? So uh, that's one of my favorite, you know, sayings. But anyway, so thank you very much for that. We always appreciate those kind words. Ginger, um, would you share your makeup video links with us again? Don't you have a playlist for those? I don't have a playlist for you know, those. It probably wouldn't hurt. I should just. I don't have a playlist. I, what I what I have done. Uh, there's this gal, uh, she's from Australia, and I, I saved her in my favorites, and she's from Australia, and she's uh, like over 50 and really extraordinarily beautiful. And she Not has. like yourself. Oh, you're so sweet. And she has some really. I got most of my makeup tips from her. I mean, really, I just sat there, what are you doing? Oh, God, that looks good. What, what did you just buy? Oh, yeah, I should have some of that, that kind of thing, right? <laughs> and um, I just, I, I have, think I found my, per you know, like if I'm your person, I have found my person, right? And um, really, I'm very excited about her. And uh, uh, I, I wish I could uh, tell you her name. I totally forget it. I don't hope you haven't forgotten my name, Ginger Cook. And I tell you what, um, <laughs> I'll put a link. I'll iCard her. How's that? I'll iCard it because she had some really good makeup tips 
And I, I even, she even showed me a way to curl my eyelashes, and I've been doing that with an eyelash curler since I was 15, and I didn't realize I was holding it all wrong. I mean, who knew, right? So anyway. Apparently she did. She did. So anyway, thanks very much for those kind words. The thing that we are going to be talking about tonight, a couple of things, we're talking about proven ways to paint snow, okay? You don't want to and, go down yet? And you could come sl slide on down if you wouldn't mind. And thanks very much for the t-shirt, too. You know, we have a store now for these t-shirts. This is the Ginger Cook Birthday Bash. Uh, John and I and uh, 40 of our uh, uh, closest, friend. uh, closest friends here that we've that uh, some of whom we've never met, they're going to be on the <laughs> cruise ship with us from uh, Galveston. And it's the Birthday Bash, uh, Liberty of the Seas. And we advertised that last summer and filled up pretty quickly because we didn't have a lot of, you know, we have a lot of room, didn't have a lot of room for, you know, we were only given this much space for a group and we sort of filled it. So, you know, a lot of spouses are coming along with their artist wives and there's some gentlemen who are coming along with their um, non-artist uh, wives, you know, they're the artists. So, but anyway, we're going to have fun time on this cruise and we had to come up with some t-shirts that we would recognize people wait, with. Wait. What? Oh wow, we picked up something. What? Oh, I don't know. Now it went away. So. How cool is that? So anyway, what did we pick up? I don't know. Well. Wait, it was there a second ago. Yeah, but why do I care? Wait, it's when you start talking. Yes, and. Wait, wait. We're getting a super feedback. Oh, the pallet cam got turned on again. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. Those stay on. Nope, that didn't know. What the heck uh, is going John's on enjoying now? enjoying his te technology over there in the corner. I wish I had a camera to show you a picture of him with this craziness over there. I, I really had this good t-shirt thought, and here we go again with the, we're picking up something. So is my microphone again. Is it something I can do for you, John? Once again, I'll Do I you. need to know? I guess the question is, do I even need to know that? Can you just handle that all over the corner by yourself, no, kind of no, quietly? No, I can't, because it's sound. <laughs> Okay. All right. Anyway, the, the t-shirts, we have a, uh, what's the name of our store, t-shirt store, darling? I had it up there a second ago. He had it up there a second ago. You have to go back and look. I don't know. It's up there. Okay. <laughs> but the, and, and really, really, we just thought this would be fun. And also, you can get it without the birthday bash on it, just the merry band of artists. And we thought those would be fun to have. So that, that being said, if John has, you have the camera down here on our picture, right? Yes, You'll notice that we've got some, um, we've, We've got some rocky uh, mountains here, and we've got a sky with some clouds. We have a fence and uh, some snow. And but what if? You, yeah, yeah, okay, ginger. Yeah, the what's new? That's not really particularly earth shaking. Yeah, I know. But think about this: if you asked yourself, what are the colors of this snow? You've got this sort of turquoisey blue sky, and then when you get into the mountains, this sort of gray ultramarine color. Then you get back into the shadows. You have some gray oh. turquoise. Some light gray, not not um, here. Let me show you what white would be. Let me get a Kleenex. All right, here's here's white. There's a little Kleenex here. I, th I think that's a pretty white. See, now if I'm showing you white on here, there's some white, like right there, but there's not that much white. There's very little white on this, and yet this really reads the snow. And again, I want to apologize to our friends who are right now undergoing like the coldest winter of the year or something and I think my friend Sue and she, I think she lives in New York or New York State or somewhere said oh my gosh what happened to Hawaii why are we, I don't want to paint snow it's too cold to think about so I'll tell you what we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the show we'll paint something tropical fair something, okay something warm. something warm and tropical but this was sort of planned before we knew the weather and you know so there you go so we Okay, so what? I'm gone again. Gone again. You know, why don't let's let's just go through our stack of uh, of uh, colors. Uh, these are little little uh, pads that we use our extra paint on. And you know, what what could we have for an underpainting? Well, here's got something with blue on it. What did I do with this one? This has got some other colors on it. Would this work? Well, let's see, it's got some purple and stuff on it. I probably should paint over that before I get too carried away with that. Here's some brown. We didn't want to do brown. What do we got here? Um, here's some purple. That might be pretty. Mike could use purple. Bet I have a gray blue, but boy, wouldn't this be better? Kind of a gray blue. I mean, purple would have worked. When you want to know what would have worked? This would have worked. Um, 
Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? That green color? Probably not today, but I should use that. Maybe we'll use that for our tropical thing. I'll put that, I'll save that. Okay, we're gonna do something tropical. Here's another blue one. Yeah, that would have worked. Okay, so the only one of these colors, so when you're saying, what a color did you paint the background? Just come up with some sort of blue. Fair? Dry it. Fair enough? Yeah, so that seems like that would be it. So I think in view of what I'm painting, which I just lost, I had a picture here that I was painting. What did I do with it? Hmm. You all saw it. <laughs> well, did I catch it up in the stack? Oh, yeah, I caught it up in the stack. Okay, got it. All right, so this is kind of what we're painting. Oh, this is what we painted yesterday for snow. It's a totally different scene, isn't it? This is like yesterday's um, snow scene, and it's painted totally different than, than this one. A lot of different ways to paint snow. This is a proven way. This is a... Just kind of learn this, keep it in your bag, bag of tricks so that when you just need to whip out a snow paint, painting you can. So I think I'm going to go for, I could go for this light, uh, light color like that, or I could go for this one. I think I'm going to go for the little darker color and um, to put the brown one away. And then we will just talk about, let's do the drawing thing you guys again. John just disappeared on me. I don't know what he's doing. I think he went to find something. Where did you go? Oh, you went and found... Oh, good. Yeah, my microphone doesn't work, though. I don't need to anymore. Okay, so here's the... Um, here's how most people paint mountains. Now, where did we learn to paint mountains like that? Well, if you lived in the United States in the 50s and um, you watched a lot of cartoons... These are the mountains that went rolling by for the road run and all kinds of stuff. But they were all done like this, okay? And for some reason, everybody thinks that that's the symbol for mountain, like this is the symbol for the letter A or B, okay? So, so now we've got to explain that that isn't, we're not going to do that ever again, right? And I see this. I do personal art coaching, and people will send me some original paintings once a month. They can send me something they dreamed up or maybe some picture they found somewhere, a photograph. And... You can, I can't tell you how many times I see these uh, sawtooth uh, mountains like that. Now, it's true that when we were in Guatemala, we did see a volcano that looked just like that with some smoke coming out of it, but that is the exception, okay? And um, I, But you really don't want to do that, okay? So that being said, what we know for sure is, is that if we're going to just sort of, um, we're going to come down here, uh, here's half, just a little bit above half, I'm going to draw a line like that, okay? This is going to be, and then about two fingers up from the bottom here, I'm going to put a mark and just kind of curve a line up like that. Yes and yes. And, um, and then down from here, I'm going to just sort of curve something. All right, so that's all the drawing that's required for now. Good to know, yes. Okay, so let's, let's put out some colors that we're going to want and talk about how to paint them. So, John, are there any questions I can answer where I'm putting out colors? Mm -hmm. Yes and yes. Do you, buy all, do you paint all those colored canvases or do you buy them that way? Oh, do I paint? The question is, do we paint all the colored canvases or do we buy them that way? No, we, we buy the blank canvases and when we have leftover paint, Instead of throwing it out, we just throw it on a canvas and know eventually we're going to use that color. How's that? So sometimes, generally speaking, I can always use dark brown, always use dark blue. Here's what one of the tablets looks like, Paramount tablets. We buy these at Jerry's Artorama. Um, our friend Becky um, Masters in, in Houston, she doesn't do that. She just uh, puts all the leftover paint in a little kind of, you know, big mouth jar. And then uh, and it be mixes it all together. It becomes kind of a gray. And then she just paints her canvases gray when she needs it. I find it's very convenient. We do big ones, too. We have big, big canvases painted like this, too. I find it very convenient to have this dried and on there. It's just really, ready really ready to go. And it came up in the other day in the questions about, I, I mentioned, well, some time ago, I mentioned this artist I met in Hawaii. And she used, she just did red. And... Um, and only red. That was her signature background color. And most of the time, you know, so people said, well, why did she do that? Well, you know, she didn't tell me why she did it, okay? I have no idea why she did it. I can only guess why she did it. But some people feel, 
and I've tried it, and I'm not sure I agree with it, but there is a school of, of artists that believe that if you're going to paint an ocean, you should paint the... Um, the cam the canvas where the where the water is red first. I mean, there's some people who really believe that, and just like for instance, you know, if you're going to do gold leaf on top of a frame, you should paint the frame red first and then put the gold on top. So there's there may be some logic to it. I tried it one time. I didn't know it made all that big a difference, but for some people it did. So basically, but what this particular Hawaiian artist would do, and here's what the tablets look like. What she would do is um, she would leave if she was doing trees for instance say like these trees right here she might leave a little tiny bit of this red showing and so everything kind of glowed she'd have these sort of hawaii jungle scenes and then there'd be like maybe little spots of red that kind of peeked through underneath she wouldn't cover it up completely and it was effective you know and then that was her thing um you know your your thing may be gold uh is there some sort of set rule that you have to paint the canvas a particular color? You got to paint it something with acrylics, and um, yellow doesn't paint well over something dark like this. So if you were going to do a sunset, you couldn't do a dark color like that. Uh, you would you would you would just struggle with it. Um, so you know if you're going to paint something dark, you know I like that that in acrylics we start with the darkest color first. Uh, farthest thing away in the darkest color first, that kind of thing, and can move forward. This is thalo blue. So perhaps there's a uh, there's something to be said for just only having dark brown canvases if you weren't painting a light sky or you know, sometimes I'll paint an under three different color underpaintings, depending on the color I want underneath what. So there, hope that answers questions about that. Um, here's a little burnt sienna. Um, I'll put that up there. That's as high as you'd like me to go. Yes, Allow me to just put that right there as a block. It's like the blocks they do in the grocery store. This is all. This is mine now, right? And let's see, uh, purple. We'll do a little purple. And then, of course, cad red medium. The best gray. My favorite gray is um, cad red medium, ultramarine blue, a tiny bit of yellow and white. One of my favorite grays. You can use thalo blue too, but I particularly like that gray. So here's some cad red medium over here, and uh, see, and a little bit of yellow. What do you guys think? So I think th think we're in pretty good shape there. And so, any other questions? Why I'm putting out paint? Where do you get six by eight frames? Uh, Jerry's Artorama sells six by eight frames. Uh, not a lot of places do, but they do uh, six by eight. And also, have you ever seen those uh, frames that those metal frames at the frame store that they come in, in, uh, in uh, just you buy two at a time and put them together, and you can buy like, you know, six and then eight or ten or eight by ten, all that stuff. You just you buy two, you get a package of two of some length, and then a package of two of some other length, and then you uh, take a screwdriver and some other little toys things that come in the package, and you put them all together and you, presto you have a metal frame and they usually come in silver or black or white or brown something like that and uh, you know those are fast little frames too and the nice thing about it is that you can interchange them you know so okay so are we we're, you're with me so far here's the colors now what we want to do is make this turquoise blue and here's something you can take to the bank um, where did I put the color wheel here? It's buried under here. Okay, on the color wheel, you have a grayscale. And if I were to make a black and white, I tell this once in a while, but it doesn't hurt to tell you again. If I have to make a black and white picture of this, would one of these colors, would the, one of those grays show up here or would it be on this side, the darker side of the grayscale? If it's going to be on the lighter side, then it, the ch color's going to be either 98% white or 98% yellow. That's the mixture. So why do you want to know that? Well, because you can end up, people always say, well, you know, I can't afford, 
a lot of paint lessons or I can't afford this or that, but you can't imagine how much paint people waste mixing the wrong colors. I mean, it's just extraordinary. Um, so I want you to just, here's a good way to save some money is to, you know, get the color right the first time. And if you know that if it's going to be darker, say like a forest green, then you're going to know that if it's a green, it's going to be 98% blue and something else. So, or maybe, and maybe some brown, dark browns. So it depends on where the color falls on the grayscale if you converted the picture into a black and white. Helpful? Hope so. So now we've said that, here's our palette knife. And here's some white paint. I'm going to use most of that. Okay, and I want a little phthalo blue, which is this one up here. It's like kryptonite. I don't need very much. Okay, a little tiny bit of phthalo blue. Okay. Now... Here, that's, that's still lighter than I want, but I'm going to add a little tiny bit of yellow with it, not very much. Okay. Now, let's keep going. Now, a little bit more thalo. Okay. And a tiny bit of cad red medium, just to drop, to gray it. So here's our... And you'll, you'll, you've got to almost scrape and squish it. It reminds me of those... Um, uh, ice cream parlor places where they have the marble slabs and they squish all the ice cream together. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now I want some of this a little darker, so I'm going to take this little hunk and make it slightly darker. Put a tiny bit of cad red medium in it. Darken this up. There's been a little tiny bit of yellow. Right there, there we go. Okay. So there's my, that's, that's, that's one, those are my two, two colors. Now, we'll go from there, okay? So, what can we do? We can take, um, we're going to just do the background sky. Are there any questions why I'm doing this? Okay. So, a uh, little angle brush. This is a half-inch angle brush. And I'm going to start with the darker color. Okay. And I'm just going to come up here like that. And uh, just brush is damp, not wet. Let's see, I want a darker. Okay, brushes damp, not 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 uh, wet. Big Don't difference. You know, do you print your pictures in black and white or grayscale? Yeah. No, you have to ask a question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It was back to the back to the Michigan days. Okay, yeah, the question was, do I print my pictures out in black and white or grayscale? Yeah, we do that all the time when I'm doing and stuff, you bet. You know, and then I might make a change. In fact, are are you a member of the Art Academy? If if you are We've got a terrific video on just the way we, it was the prelude to Mulberry Hill. And we've got this terrific video on, um, on how to take, uh, turn it on and off the lights by printing out a grayscale. Okay, now I'm going to just skip down here and do a little bit lighter, even add, add a bit more white to this. Come down in here like that. Just kind of use the back of your brush like that, kind of blend it in. But I want the, this to be a little lighter back in here. I'm actually going to go into some white now because my brush is dirty. Okay, and we're just going to say here's our light color. Now, one of the things when you have mountains, one of the things that's really effective, whether they're snow-capped mountains or not, is to really have a light, the sky be very light where, they're, where they are. Okay, so I want to do a little more of that. Um, just a little more of that. Okay. Here's a little bit of this color, a little bit of our dark sky color. I want quite a bit of sky on here like that, okay? Now, this still needs to dry. Are you looking for something, John? Uh, yeah, don't worry about me, though. Okay, I'm not going to worry about you. All right, so he's probably looking for new microphones for sale or something. I don't know. Um, all right, so this is all I've got with this, okay? Now, is there anywhere else I could use this color? Well, actually, there is. I know I want some of this color down here at a diagonal coming down this way, the same sky color, this sort of sort of dark sky color. And um, I just want it coming down like this. And it's, it's kind of nice when you're doing something like this because you've got, you've got these colors of uh, snow. Here's a little bit of the lighter one. Like this, we're going to bring some of this color down here, like that. And the angle brush is perfect for that. Okay. All right, there we go. So all this is coming down. 
kind of like that. Okay. So if that's there, okay, and, and you know, then you're going to ask yourself, is it time to dry? And probably so. We can we could get away with a little more painting if we went ahead and just kept painting this. But I think we want to take this moment and dry. John's going to mute me. And, and you can't you can't they can't hear you though, right? No, because you, you, you're the only mic we have running right now. Okay, so what I'm going to show, what John's going to show you is a um, one of our, while, during, while, while he's muting me, what we're going to show you, which is really cool, is you know we do personal art coaching. And our, our academy, let me just show you, one of, the, one of our most favorite lessons from December was this little painting called Trouble. And it was originally um, painted by an old, one of the old dead guy artists, in the mid, English artists in the mid-1800s. And this was one of my favorite lessons, and people did such a good job on this. But... Because the academy members that are monthly or annual members can send in their artwork for help, the, what you're going to see is the before and after of um, one of our artists, and her name is Michelle Gordon, and she did, and she herself said on her Facebook page that she couldn't believe when she first sent me the picture she thought she was done. I sent her back a video, actually a video, on how she could make some improvements, and I think you're going to be blown away by the before and after on that. One question before it disappears. Can you use transparent brown iron, iron oxide in place of burnt umber? Well, no. Question. The question is, sorry, you can't hear John. Can you use transparent brown in the face, in the space of um, raw umber? Oh, in raw umber or burnt umber? Uh, burnt. Burnt umber is opaque. It's like the door. Raw umber is like uh, looking through cellophane and so is anything that says transparent is you can it doesn't have as much pigment uh, so no you can't you could use van dyke brown instead of burnt umber you could use uh, you could use purple and um, uh, cad red medium and make a burnt umber but you can't use a transparent color and get a dark brown all right so, so i'm going to do a before and then an after yeah john's going to do a before and then he's going to show you the after. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. What did you guys think? Wasn't that amazing? All right. And um, in the next break, we're going to show you uh, just a really cool picture one of our artists did in our Wave and Water Master Class. And uh, we just we're going to start bragging on some of our members um, because I think that's important. Okay. So we're, the next color we want to make. It's a different blue. We want to make, we want to take ultramarine blue now and white, okay? And we want to gray that with a little bit of cad red medium, okay? And I don't have enough white out now. Let me grab the rest of this, okay? Now you see how I've just kind of toned that down. I've grayed it a little bit, and I might even put a little of this blue color in it. There you go. Now it's a sort of an interesting, it's, it's a different shade of blue. But remember, the farther things are in the background, the, um, the, the grayer and uh, less bright they are. Okay, so you, and a little bit out of focus. So if we add a little bit more white to that, maybe coming over here like that. Okay, so we're going to say, I want this color, and then I want to take a little bit of this, maybe darken some of this a little bit, and take a little of this blue and put in there a little bit, maybe a little bit of combination of phthalo blue and ultramarine blue. And that's another, and a little tiny bit of cad red medium. 
Okay, and that's another gray. Okay, so I'm making a couple colors of gray like that. And let's see, I'm looking, I'm looking right at what I want to make. I want to make this color here, maybe some of these kind of gray-blue colors here. Make two or three colors at once, you know what I mean? Start there and kind of, if you see what you're going to need, right, and then you can kind of vacillate back and forth between them. All right, so what we're going to do first is put in our mountains. I want to come down about three fingers from the top, which is about where we are. And I'm going to just take this, uh, this blue color. I'm going to start down here like this, and then maybe make a peak and then straighten it out. Another peak, and then maybe we'll come up a little higher on this peak up here like that. Now, what we've, we've dried everything, so what I want to do now is just make everything kind of this color, okay? I'm just going to start with one color, and then I'll go from there. Does that make sense? I know I've got my mountains are going to be coming down along here like this, something like that. I'm going to say there's our mountains. Now, at this point, the acrylics dry darker, all right, but this is, you'll notice they're not sawtooth. They're, they're definitely not sawtooth. They've got some, definitely have some, uh, some peaks to them, okay? This one's got a peak to it, okay? But, um, but they're not sawtooth, and you just have to just make sure that you've varied the shape a little bit. Okay, so then um, if I want something a little darker than this, I might add a little phthalo blue to this color. And say on this side of the, let's see, let's put a little ultramarine blue with that too. Because remember, we're mixing over paint. This is still pretty uh, wet, so I may not be able to get dark in it. I'm going to have to dry this real fast. While I'm drying it, check out, um, did, uh, did I mention who painted that before? Nicole. Yeah, Nicole, do you remember? Nicole, yeah. Yeah, for that? Uh, you were going to put the picture up? She's got it ready to go. I want you to see what Nicole did. Um, this was, again, one of the old dead masters from, um, you know, early 1800s. He was Norwegian original. And these original water series that he does, we have a, about eight, so what, seven or eight of his lessons in our Wave and Water master class of his artist. Um, and it's so fantastic. And these are very complicated paintings. And Nicole did a phenomenal job. Wait till you see it while I dry this. All right, we're back. Wasn't that neat? You, I mean, I'm just telling you what, we have really literally um, seen over the last few years some of the most amazing artwork come out of our academy and artists who have just really taken hold of these uh, lessons, expanded their painting. And they'll all tell you that uh, some of them only started painting a couple of years ago and they're doing that kind of artwork. That's amazing. I think that it's important to know that there is an art, online art school out there that's good for anywhere in the world that you've got internet and you get help and really important help. So that's my plug for our academy. I think I'm glad to do it too. All right, you ready for this here? We're going to make this a little bit darker now, um, a little bit more ultramarine blue. I want this a little darker right here, right there. Okay, so let's take some white and purple now. And um, that's a lot of purple. And now let's take a little bit of phthalo blue with that purple. Now a little more white. Okay. Now let's take a little tiny bit of cad red medium and gray it. Now we're working with all these colors now, right? And I'm going to say that on this right, right up in here like this, maybe on this side of our, our, our mountain, we've got a little of this purple color right here like that. There's not a lot of it, but there is some, so we're going to put, put a little bit there, right there. Now I'm going to get a little more white paint, okay? Now look what happens when I come up here like that. I'm going to say that there's some light here. 
I'm going to say there's some light here. We want sort of some really nice... Um, uh, like a ridge here, okay? And the same thing here, a little bit of this light purple color. And uh, let's see, let's put a little bit right here, like that. Okay? I'm not touching very hard, just sort of dragging it over. And, you know, there's not a lot of contrast at this point. You know, you can see that there, we don't have a lot of contrast. But I can take a little bit of this um, phthalo blue and uh, add it to the lighter blue we did. That's ultramarine blue. Let's do this. Okay, here's our next one. Let's put a little cad red in it, kind of gray it, okay? And here's our next gray blue color. And now we're going to come in here like this and say that there's our rolling hills coming down like that. Maybe this side's got a little shadow on it. You notice we haven't reached for the white yet. You saw that? Okay. I haven't reached for the white yet. But we want to, if you think about a pyramid, it's got a light and a dark side to it, okay? And these are, if you look at a paint, you know, a picture of some mountains and just kind of look at those, you'll see that there's all these shadows, lights and dark shadows and uh, ridges and that's what we you want to suggest with as few brush strokes as possible so I'm going to come up here now with a little white on my brush and just tap this in here like this now and add a little snow so here's a little snow bank in here now what's happened is I'll just wipe the brush off I haven't rinsed it there's no I'm going into the wet paint now I'm going to come up here on the top of this one and say that there's this the snow right here right on top of this ridge right like that Coming here, I want maybe this a little lighter. Now what about this mountain? Yeah, for sure, I want something up here like this and sweep something up this way. Okay, here's another little plane of ice that's coming this way. Pulling it down, now I've got something kind of going this way, some sort of ridge going this way that's kind of coming down here. and. Uh, going this way. And what's happened is that because we didn't dry it, there is some color mixing going on your picture. That's the, that's the trick. There absolutely is some color mixing going on your picture like that. So let's come up here like this. So here's our peak. It's a little look like that. Okay, so we've got these, I mean, these Rocky Mountains, these are, I lived for years in Aspen, Colorado, and when you went, uh, you know, you, you drove out into the plains of Colorado, you would see, you definitely see, you know, uh, scenes like this. When you, this would be a highway back here, you'd see all this flat land all covered with snow. Now here, I want to come up here with my white now, and just say that right up in here, I've got some snow banks, and what we're doing is we're, sweeping some in here like this. We've got to say that there's some snow banks sweeping this way. And maybe this one will be, uh, let's see, a little bit of white. Make that pretty light here. We're going to have something light right here. Something a little lighter here. Kind of flatten that one out, okay? Then lighten this up here. So it's all about um, lights and darks, okay? So here's a little bit of white we're going to put up this way. If you just keep playing with the values. Now, is it white particularly? I'm going right into the white, but again, the brush is dirty. And also the um, uh, uh, the, the some of the paint's wet. Now, if I wipe the brush like this, pinch it, okay? I, and I wanted this a little whiter. So, you know, look how much whiter that is, right? And I can do that. I can add just a few things just with an angle brush like that, right? and say I want this is where the snow's coming, right here, toward us. And I just want you to see how fast and easy something like that goes in. Now this bank here, which we want a little bit more purple in, and I'm going to put a tiny bit of cad red medium in that to kind of gray that purpley color. We want, wet the brush, because this is all kind of dried up. We want a bank coming like this, and all the brush strokes, it, your brush direction is so important. Okay, so a little bit of blue, purple, cad red medium. I want that fairly dark. Here we go. We're going to say that everything's coming this way. 
And then maybe we'll take a little bit of this blue and add a little bit to it. Doesn't all have to be purple. We're going to come this way and say this is our, our bank that's in the shadows. Okay. And as long as I'm doing that, I might put a little bit of this purple back here somewhere. Okay. Just sort of in the background, kind of separate all that. Then if you can do this with as few brush strokes as possible, just sort of lay it and then just stop, you know? It's kind of, it's, it's a neat thing, particularly some of your background's going to show through. And of course, then if you had a red background, it would look a little odd. So, um, but I don't live in Hawaii, so I don't need to have any of that happen. So now same thing here. I've got some white paint and I want to say that um, I want some light going over here. But where do I want the light? Well, I want the light from where my posts are going to be. So if I've got a post right here and here and here, I really have to dry it first before I can do anything else. So we're going to dry it again. Yeah, thank you, thank uh, Eric for his donation. Oh, gosh, Eric, thanks so much for your donation. I'll tell you what. Good evening. I Ubered extra just for both of you today. Oh, Eric. Eric is awesome. And thank you. I mean, when we do a live show, Eric just is so kind to donate. And what Eric, you guys may not know this, but when Eric is donating to us and he does that, what, what he's donating to is some artist who wrote us and said, gosh, I wish I could try your academy for a week. Um, I really can't afford art lessons right now, but I'd really like to just, you know, maybe I'd like to just learn how to paint this dog or something. Or I saw this cat on Facebook and I and I want to know how to paint this cat. And can you show me? And, you know, and so you can, people think it's by the week, but did you know for just $9.95, we haven't raised that price in three years, um, you can access all 300, over 300 VLL lessons and just pick something you're interested in doing. And if you're not sure, go to our Pinterest board, um, Ginger Cook uh, Live on Pinterest, and go to tutorials by subject and then just scoot on down and look at all the amazing things that there is to paint and I promise you that um, there's something you want to paint and that this is a step-by-step -step lesson it's just you and me John's not you know speaking we, we kid around a lot on the live show it's just us just us and if you sign up for a month just one month even for um, I think what's a what's a month if you're not a senior John how much is a month if you're not a senior $34.95. For $34.95, if you're not a senior, um, a seniors get a discount. Uh, if you're not a senior, still, that's personal art coaching for a month. You can just say, you know, I just want to do a month and quit. You know, I'm busy. But try us. I, I promise you, try us. So I'm gonna, that's my free speech here. I'm going to go ahead and... Thank Andrew for his donation. Oh, Andrew, thank you very I much. I didn't even, thank you very much, Andrew. We, you know, that's very kind. We appreciate you guys very, very much and the guys that help us do this to help others. And thank you very much for that. Um, you know, and also, you know, quite frankly, we've got a lot of equipment that we constantly keep replacing and upgrading. And then now it's time for new microphones. It's, it's always something. We just bought some too. We bought one, right? It was a, it's a set. They're it's, supposed to be married. They're supposed to be married. Well, you know how that goes. All right, so I'm going to. Can I dry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the t-shirt up for now. Okay. John's going to put the t-shirt up. Oh, we had some, John said we had two more donations come in. We'd like to thank Cheryl and Joanne. Cheryl and Joanne, thank you so much. We appreciate it very much. Cheryl says, thanks so much for all the lessons you provided us. And Joanne says, happy birthday, hoops. Woo, hoops. Oh, guess what, you guys? I forgot to tell you this. I was going to tell you right away, and I forgot because it was a... Okay, so you know that I'll use Sorel transfer paper, or you'll see me use the Posca pens, right? 
or you'll see me use some sort of chalk stuff, right? Or you'll see me do all kinds of, you know, kind of interesting things. I'm, you know where I buy my brushes, but sometimes I'll have other stuff and I'll, and maybe a book I'll recommend. Uh, there's a, for instance, there's a book if you're painting portraits on skin tones, it's uh, like an, uh, you just have to have it, you know, I didn't write it, but you know, you'd want it. Okay. And so it was kind of hard for people to, uh, you know, get the links to find this stuff. And it, we now have an Amazon store, okay? So it's an affiliate store. We don't actually sell any of our own products on it. But what we, what they let us do, Amazon, what Amazon let us do, we just found out about this. I guess they've always let you do it. But who knew, right? Hard to keep up with technology. But apparently we've got this store now. And basically all our links are in one place, sort of in categories. So all you have to do is go to Amazon.com. What? I made a bit easier. Gingercooklive.gallery ginger slash Amazon. GingerCookLive.gallery slash Amazon, and it'll take you right to our store. And um, uh, and and then you can just, I'm not saying you got to buy anything there. I'm just saying if you wanted to know where I'm getting the stuff like the Sorrel transfer paper, while I'm finding all these wonderful things, um, that's, that's it. It's all going to be in one easy to find place. Now, that's not our t-shirts, and, you know, that's not the, you know, Jer that's not Jerry's, so we, we, promote Jerry's, though as far as I can tell, they've never done a thing to promote us. Um, they don't give us any breaks, but I, I, I like these tablets. I'll t you know what? If I like something, I'll tell you whether they've done anything for us or not. Um, I, you know, the tub of towel people, you know, at least send us towels, you know, and give us stuff that we can give away, and they're on Amazon, link to them. So great stuff, and we just were kind of excited about making that. All right, those are Posca pen. I don't need it. I don't know why I'm shaking it. All right, so... All right, time for another drawing lesson. Yes and yes, where did we put that? Oh yeah, drawing lesson, drawing lesson. Okay, drawing lesson. This is really, I tell you what, this is so important. This has come up a bunch of times and I feel like we gotta cover it now because um, really, quite frankly, I'm tired of seeing it. So if I tell you all now, you'll just know it'll never happen again, right? Promise? Everybody's got this? Okay, so where's a piece of chalk? Hmm. Chuck, Chuck, where did I put the chalk? Here, got it. All right, piece of chalk. All right, so I've got a road. Yes and yes. That's a piece of paint on my board here. We can take that off that low. Okay, I've got a road, okay? And I've got paint all over my finger, which is going all over this. All right, so now I've got a road, and I've got a tree. Oh, here's my picture, okay? I've got a tree. I've got a tree like this, and it's coming up like this. There's my big tree, right? Every this. And then, okay, maybe i got another tree right here that's doing this, okay? Okay? Now, then I'll see people put a fence, and they'll do it like this, okay? Now, if you, you've got to imagine, draw in your mind a little person, okay? on your road. So how big would the fence have to be so they didn't get in? It would have to be at least waist high, waist high right? So you got to kind of think when you're putting in a fence or something like that, if you've got anything else in the picture, we don't in the snow picture, but if you have anything else in the picture that you can kind of gauge it off of, kind of understand how high that fence has to be, okay? So um, uh, anyway, that's just one of the things that I, I saw come up. So we know we've got a fence here. I'm going to put one here. They're just going to make the fence about, um, what, two fingers tall. I'm going to put a fence right there, and I'm going to put one here and kind of... That one's going to be a little taller because this guy couldn't afford good stuff. This one's a little close together, and this is lying down, and, you know, I had this one kind of lying down that way, too. That one's lying down. This one's going this way, and these were a little shorter because they're on the, they're on the other side of this little bank thing, right? I don't like that one there, but it's uh, that's where he is because I use stupidly. I use yellow chalk. Don't use yellow chalk, or you'll have yellow snow, and then you'll have to explain why you have yellow snow. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, so I digress. All right, that's where that's going to be, right? So I'm going to take a little bit of burnt sienna, and um, and I know that this is going to be my um, kind of my little top line uh, where my fence is going to go and my grass. Okay. And let's see, probably wouldn't hurt to have some yellow oxide. We could do some yellow and purple. And we can get some and a little tiny bit of cad red medium. 
and you can get a pretty close. Did you know you can get pretty close to yellow oxide? Look at that. So we could say that we've got some grasses coming up like this. Okay, like that, and you want them sporadic. Not um, some of them fell over because of the the last storm. Some got trampled by a bunny that went screaming through here. They're all different heights. There's a little burnt sienna. Okay, and I'll take a little ultramarine blue and burnt sienna and make that a bit darker. Okay, and I'm going to say that I got a little bit darker on this side here, like that. Just tap that on. Yeah. Hello. So, hello. Hello. Are hello. you you're playing with your 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 um John's working on his oh, Okay, be quiet for a second. Let me see if I can get me talking. Okay. Shh. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Um I'm not as strong as you, but that's all right. I'll, I'll take it. Allison, thank you for your donation. I love art and appreciate your free YouTube videos. Thank you very much. Also happy B day. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Allison, that was very nice. Can I talk now? I don't know. Now that I've got a microphone, I don't think uh, we want to hear from you anymore. <laughs> you had the first half hour. Now my turn to talk. Okay, I'll just put these in then. You guys just will follow along. I'll look at John can just tell you stories <laughs> no, you go ahead. about growing up, be, about being a Boy Scout master. I don't know what. Here. Oh, yeah, I don't have stories like you do. Are you kidding? You, you, you got this. Oh, we had another donation come in through the PayPal system. Thank you very much. And we'd like to thank okay. Arthur. I don't believe we're going to see Mr. Arthur uh, this weekend. He's going to be joining us. Oh, the... good. We're going to see our art. Yeah, that'll be great. All right. So I've got another. I want to change that a little bit and just kind of straighten him up here just a little bit. I had him all kind of crooked there. But there you go. Those are, those are all the fence posts I'm putting in. Yes and yes. There they are. And I'm not putting one over here. You know what I mean? He ran out of money, and that was the last offense that he could buy. And the cattle all got out anyway, and this is the, my story, okay? This is my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, so do you see back here with the mountains where we've got those, and we've done that? What would happen? One of the proven ways to create a distance in the atmospheric perspective is zinc or mixing white. Mixing white is a combination of zinc and titanium, um, zinc um, is, you can get zinc from golden. Zinc is a little bit more transparent, but it's really hard to tell the difference. Um, I've had this big jar for years. If you use so little of it, I'd say buy a tube of something. Um, but you want, a, you want a clean brush. You want to start with a clean brush and take a little bit and sm flatten it all out like that. Kind of flatten it out. And then come up here like this above your mountains if they're dry and just just put on a little bit of this, this like this this tiny bit of these you're just basically doing a cloud layer up here and kind of pushing those mountains back see that and look at the distance because that that's something you see a lot in the mountains is this sort of haze this white haze you know one of the fun things john i used to do when i'd go to art museums and i still like to do it is i like to look and see if i can see a fog line you know, smog line in any of their landscapes. And I think that's kind of a new phenomenon. And I'm going to take a little of this mixing white here. And just back here, I'm going to add a little bit of this in the back now. Uh, kind of just a little bit right back here. Because it's not as bright. It's a little bit lighter. And it's a little more translucent. So there you go. So just a little more depth to this picture. Okay, like that. Let's just wipe this off. Okay, so... Everybody's good here. Now we've got our posts. Um, I've got this angle brush. I think I'll take a little bit of um, uh, burnt sienna, a little bit of yellow, okay, like that, make this little highlight color. And I'm just going to use the brush like this, an angle brush, a pretty big one. So I'm going to put a little cad red with that too. Here we go. Just put a little bit of this on here on the left-hand side of these, like that. Just tap it on here. There you go, like that. There, OK, so it's just a little bit better on the posts. Let's take a little bit of yellow, lighten that up. And just a touch, let's just do a touch of just tap it. Just barely touch it. Use the brush, use the brush as the straight line. You don't brush it, you just place it almost like a stamp and lift up, okay? So those are, um, 
And then if you want to just add, if you can use the tip of that, a, even a big brush like this, you can use the tip of that and um, have a few little uh, weeds or stuff growing up here like that. Okay. okay, maybe something coming over here like that that kind of, you know, bled through the snow, you know, like something like that. Okay, so now we've done that. Where'd right. the other brush go? Okay. Okay, we want to mention that we will be live on Friday at 7.30 p.m. and Saturday at 1 p.m., both Central Time. All right, did you guys hear that? We're going to be live Saturday at uh, what time? <laughs> did you hear that? No, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it was so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Friday, 7.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Say it. Friday, 7.30 p.m. Saturday, 1 p.m. Uh, Saturday at 1 p.m.? Both Central Time. Both Central Time. Okay. We'll be gone for two weeks. We're going to be gone for two weeks, but look for videos and G Ginger's Gems. And if you don't know what Ginger's Gems are... Oh, you are missing out. Uh, I'm telling you what, those are five to eight minute videos and just stuff you need to know. Just as <laughs> artists, you know, it wouldn't matter whether you were a watercolor artist or oil painter. These are just really great art tips. And um, people are, are very much loving these. All right. So now, okay, so you guys, I'm going to say, I'm going to use this, this dark as my shadows, where the shadows are. So, um, you know, we're, we're just going to say that they're coming down this bank like this. So I'm going to just take the white and a little bit of this light blue color. And in between here, like this, right, like this, I'm going to just come down here like that and say that there's, what, what, what I've left is what the shadow is from these, um, uh, from these, from, from here. And let's see, I want to put a little bit of color in these like this. So this is my brush could be wetter because I'm kind of out of paint here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to say this is my. So the the darker blue, okay, you guys get this, is the shadow from the post, okay, and uh, we're just going to come down here like that, and uh, there we go, something like that. So we've got the darker blue, and I want it, I really wanted it to go more this way, so I'm going to change this, hang on a second. I'll have to put them in again because I want it to go more this way, just kind of fooling this way. Kind of more of a hill. <laughs> kind of. I want it to show it's more of a hill, so I want a little darker purple down here. So I'd say this is kind of going more this way, like that. There's my shadows on here, and then I have to lighten this up some. So I'll just take a little of that mixing white and say that I've got, here we go. Just on, not on the whole thing, just on some of it. Let's just make that a little bit lighter. Okay, and I'm going to just cover that up a little bit. That got a little crazy. Here's a question for you. Ginger, I love your temperature gem. Please explain cold temperature through color in this snow painting. Well, we'll save that for a gem. <gasps> we'll save that for a gem. I need gem ideas, so we'll save that for a gem. Okay. So I might put, if I wanted to say that there was a little snow on here, do I want to put any snow on these posts like this maybe? I could. A little bit of white here. I didn't do it so much on that one, but I could do it. You know, just a little bit maybe. Something like this. A little snow on the post if I wanted to say that it had been, um, there you go. And I don't, I don't necessarily even need it that dark here, here like that, just there you go. And I, I'm pretty happy with the clouds that we put back here. I think my mixing white could be a little bit stronger. I want a little bit more mixing white back here than I had it. So, um, and th th this is why you dry stuff. So if you got too carried away and you lost something, you can put it back here like that. This is why I dry everything because I wanted just a few more clouds back here in the sky. Okay, and here's a little bit of the light. There we go. Uh, a gem idea would be a grayscale. Well, we can do a grayscale. That's a great idea because we talk about that all the time, don't we? We talk about the grayscales and how you want to 
um, incorporate those into your paintings. Now we're going to start uh, pulling in a little bit of dark up here on these hills a little bit where the um, kind of our uh, There we go. All right, so we've just kind of made, kind of got our mountains in the background. And then we're going to just kind of play with our lights and darks here. We knew, remember, we had some light snow in here like that. And then we had some uh, lighter stuff back here, just in a few places. Not, it's just all kind of rolling hills and stop, okay? And that's pretty much the picture. I think I might bring this all the way down here on this one. And just, there you go, that's our picture. And proven ways to paint snow. And it, you have to admit, it's very different than this. Very different than painting snow like this. But this is, an you know, what you're talking about in summary then, is you want a warm and a cool blue. The warm blue being this, this turquoisey blue and the, the cool blue being these ultramarine colors and purples. And uh, then you want to just play with that a little bit. And, uh, and, and that's, that's the fun part of painting something like this. I just want to kind of put that over there like this. A little bit of a... Okay, then just... There you go. There's the bottom of... I'm presuming there's a road or something over here we're not seeing. And um, I actually got this photo. I believe I got this photo at PMP. And I haven't posted this picture on there, but I might if you wanted to see the photo I got it from, just for the fun of it. I did have a reference for this. So um, I just, you know, the way they've got their their rules, they prefer we don't show them the photos. You, it's come up, you were going to tell the people about your other ring? <gasps> yes, you guys want to know about my other ring? And I have it so I can show it up there. Okay, let me show you this. Well, this, this is, let me show you this while I'm waiting for this to dry, right? Let me just do one little thing here. I want a little shadow right here, which I ha didn't have right in there. Just break that up with a little shadow. Okay. Yeah, we already know about the shadows for gems and colors for shadows. That's that's going to be a major one. Though. Yeah, we got we've already got it filmed. Our shadow one is amazing. All right, so you guys, you see the engagement ring, right? And then you see this ring, and John's got one on order too. And what these are, and and, and we're going to have the link on Amazon. What these are, um, the new year started off, and um, I realized that um, John wanted to get me an Apple Watch. And I just didn't want to spend four or five hours trying to figure out how to make the stupid thing go. I mean, I just, that's what it would take for me. Maybe for you, you'd learn it in 10 seconds. And I didn't really think they were very pretty either. Just personal taste. I think they're particularly attractive. I love this watch I'm wearing. My daughter gave it to me some years ago. It's a Betsy Johnson. And it still goes. And I really love this one. So, but on the other hand, the fitness part of it, I just, um, I liked. And I ran across in January, I ran across this ring on Amazon. And it's a fitness ring. And believe it or not, the inside of this ring, the inside of this is all, um, is all electronics inside this, this titanium barrier. So you see the little... Well, can they you, have a picture of it. Can you picture. see my battery sparkling there? Can you see that? Let's slide it over to your other way. Slide it over. I have a picture up there. So slide over. Slide oh, right there. Right there. Well, it's not right sparkling there. now. I touched it. it was it was it was sparkling? <laughs> well, anyway, there's a battery in there, right? And this ring was designed so it tells you you it, you could you could go scuba diving with it, literally deep sea diving with it, and it it goes it goes in water. You don't have to take it off, and it tells you how many hours you've been sleeping a night. Um, and I thought I was doing really good, and then it said basically, guess what, cupcake? You've been doing three or four hours a night, and I'm going, huh. Who knew? And then it tells you how many steps you've taken, how much physical activity you had, and in conjunction with an app for your, with your, for oh. either your Android watch or your I, uh, iPad watch. No, that would be your Android phone or your i. Or yeah, an your Android phone. phone or your <laughs> Apple phone. Yeah, thank you, John. Your phone with your phone. So it has an app for the phone, so I can look. Up, I can look every day, and I can get up in the morning and see how I slept. It'll tell me how I slept, and also if I slept as much as I thought. And then also it tells me how many steps I've done. So it just allows us to focus more on the physical fitness part of our life that we have been... Um, neglecting? Neglecting. And John and I, you know, w want to get in better shape. And I do too. And, uh, when, you know, when there's a birthday coming up, you think, oh boy, I better do something. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the rings. And John got one too. And they, they the battery lasts for like... Um, 
what uh, three like to three, five days. three to five days but even it, it just uh it, it charges in 90 minutes and you just it's a little magnet thing and you just sit it on this little tiny deal on that plugs into your computer 90 minutes later it's charged we thought this was where's the box where's the where's the box we threw that box out no no the one with all the rings in it where's that box Oh, I have no idea. It was right here on the desk. It's somewhere. Help me find it. I can't believe you had me talk about this ring and you don't have the box. Okay, what? because what you get with this here, grab all this stuff. This is in the yeah. There's a box that what you get when you order the ring. They send you. This is the classiest outfit, and I had a box sitting right here. It's on this desk somewhere. I promise you. Ah, look at this. Look at this. This is called the motivation wrap around your finger. The motive ring sizing set. And what you get is they send you first all these different sizes, and they tell you to wear the ring for a while. I still have mine on. And John still is wearing hers, and then and they tell you to wear it for a while and see how which one is the most comfortable. And then what you do is then you tell them the size you want after a couple of days you've had a chance to wear it. And somebody asks, how much are they? And I think they're about, they're around two hundred dollars, which doesn't sound sounds like a lot, but on the other hand, I don't. The technology uh, behind it is phenomenal. The technology is ph phenomenal. Uh, they had to reinvent everything to make this work. And uh, so far, I've been uh, wearing mine for about four days and have already uh, changed my pattern. And I thought I was doing much better than I was. So anyway, that's what you get. That There's a link on Amazon. Very impressed with it. They had rave reviews. And um, this is too neat for words. There, good. Got to show ring and, and watch. Like know, how is the Iron Horse treadmill doing? How's that working out for you? Oh, yeah, and the treadmill. Yeah, so we got the treadmill so I'd actually have some steps to go somewhere on, <laughs> right? So yeah, obviously if you have a ring that measures steps, then you want something. You better be walking somewhere. You better be walking somewhere. And so we've got this treadmill, and I'm so far... Um, I'm doing it. it every day. I've got at least 30 minutes a day on it, and I can take my iPad and put it up on the treadmill, and then I can watch uh, movies while I'm walking, or I can look at the treadmill, and it, it has a Google Map thing on it. I should be, I'll tell you this while I'm painting something so we don't make the show too long. I was going to paint something tropical, right? Yes, tropical. Right? So it's something Oh, that's of, one of my great backgrounds, too. Yeah, I love this background. Don't you think that's pretty? Mm. Yeah, so... Um, Love that color. Uh, yes. Um, anyway, so we've got um, uh, something tropical. Okay. Well, the treadmill has the ability that you can pick where you want to. You have personal trainers, kind of like what Ginger does for her personal art coaching. You have personal trainers that will take you around the world to different locations. You can walk through towns, climb mountains, go along the beach, all kinds of things. I was climbing the Swiss Alps is what I'm doing right now, Swiss to France, and uh, it gives you and it goes up and down, tilts up and down, and really uh, gives you a workout. Oh, it's something, isn't it? It's something, and then they've got you know you've heard of Google Earth, Google Maps, right? You know, if you've ever tried to figure out where you're going, and then you get the actual picture, so you can try to find a new location, and you get the street view. Well, they've got they've got anywhere Google Maps goes. The treadmill will take you if you want to walk through some little town in Italy or uh, maybe in England or something. You want to travel the world or in Vermont. If there's Google uh, has shot up, uh, shot mm -hmm. that film that city, you just go go to their go to the map and then you know t t with a pointer just decide where you want to go. And it, it the treadmill goes up and down just like you're walking in that city. And then you've got the shots of that city, so you can literally travel the earth on foot. <laughs> <laughs> which is true which I think is pretty neat don't you think that's pretty neat I think it's pretty cool yeah me too I think that that's um, that's I mean that I think to me that's just absolutely amazing okay and absolutely oh, amazing oh we have to put the link up did I put my the girls are ahead of me this time so there's a but anyway I had to tell you about the ring that was um that was actually, the ring was actually my Christmas present from Cinnamon. She originally bought me a watch. An Android. An Android watch that even John couldn't make go. It was a, I don't even say what it was. John, I'm going to say, what kind of watch was that? It was supposed to do Michael's. with. Michael's. 
Was Michael Kors watch, and it was supposed to be. She got it. Supposed to be a, instead of an Apple watch. Instead of an Apple watch, you could use theirs. And let me tell you something. It wasn't even close. And, and, and if John can't make something go, what does that it tell went. you? So he spent three hours when we got back from Cinnamon's house at Christmas, uh, to, you know, because I mean we wanted obviously we wanted oh, that watch to go. That's closed. Hold on. Hold on. What's happened? The giveaway says it's closed, so we got to turn that on. Where is it? Where is it? Hold on, hold on, don't, don't, don't give up, don't okay. give up, don't give up, it's open now. Okay, John fixed it. Twenty-four. Yeah, all right, try it again, try it again, it's open. I opened the link, my bad. Let's see if anybody's paying attention. So anyway, this is a painting we're going to be giving away. As soon as I decide what we're painting, but I'm I've got almost got it here. Just bear with me. Um, so that's a, I think there's some exciting things happening, and um, so far, um, for me, I want to be able to at least easily sit out there for a hike and you know walk four or five hours and not poop out. Right? Does that make yeah. sense? If we go somewhere and travel. Um, well, we've got the big one coming up. That's... So, yeah, we've got the big one coming up, so we want to make sure we can do that. And uh, which is fair, right? I mean, I, I absolutely want to do that, okay? Here's a gym idea, glazing. When do you use it and the techniques of using it? Well, we actually have some pretty neat videos just on glazing right now on YouTube. Uh, but we can, uh, uh, I will, uh, we are going to be doing, we will do something about something like that. But just for sure, we'll definitely do something like that. And... Um, and because that's uh, that's an important uh, because we glaze back all the time, and if you're you know part if you're an academy member, you'll know that um, you know I'm constantly talking about glazing, and for instance, uh, particularly in the Wave and Water Master Class, we talk a lot about there's glazing. Tons, tons of glazing in that there's class. There's tons of and there's tons of you know videos where we talk about when you need to glaze something, turn on and off the lights. Even for instance, in this cat video, there was a lot of glazing that went on in those eyes. Mm. So just, just he was, so you he know. He was over as a puppy dog. Yeah. Yeah, so there was. Please tell how you got those lovely, beautiful, gorgeous lavender colors. These right here? Apparently. Th these right here, those are, uh, that's just um, purple and white and uh, thalo blue. There you go. So that's all we did here. If you Diana like. has to go. Thanks for that. Have a great weekend. Another great tutorial by a fantastic teacher. Thank you very much. Oh, I think she was talking to me. <coughs> you think she was? She I'm might sure. have been. Yeah, she might have been. <laughs> okay. Yeah, in my dreams, right? Hey, it looks like we had another donation come in through PayPal from Laura. Thank you. Thank you, Ginger, for all your help. Always we appreciate you and John and the support you provide. We always feel successful even when we're making mistakes. This support keeps us working hard on improving our art. Thank you, Laura. That was very nice. nice Thank words. you very much. And let's appreciate the note too, you know. Um, we like to hear notes. I like notes. I'm just, I'm just very nice uh, notes. and. Um, I, you know, who we appreciate, I'll tell you who John, who John and I are very appreciative of is, um, you know, we've got a really terrific Facebook club, and it's certainly free to anybody that's an acrylic painter that wants to join. It was designed, though, it's called the Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club for a reason, because we really wanted to see the artwork that you're doing from our tutorials, either on the Academy or on YouTube. And then a couple of times a week, we, you know, we say, whatever you've painted recently, to let it show us, all right? But... Our, our moderators, there's six of them, and they're all volunteer. Nobody pays them to do anything. And so we pay them that what, and why they do it is that they really believe in what John and I are doing. All right. So we weren't some sort of altruistic, uh, gosh, let's have an acrylic uh, a, a site on YouTube. Uh, because th th these th this, this site's monitored practically 24 hours a day. So, you know, we encourage people that are members of our club, even though it's not specifically stated in the rules, we encourage you to, to do some of the tutorials and a comment to the members. And um, if all you do is originals of that your own stuff, 
then we can't tell where you are as far as where your learning curve is. And you know, there's lots of acrylic clubs that uh, you can just show your stuff on. But there's we've got a rare club here and some great supporters. And so and we're in, interested not just in your originals, but the other stuff you're painting. Okay, how's that? Is that a good? Is that good? What is the brush you're using right now? This brush is I grabbed it. This is an art tripper brush. Isn't that her cloud brush? And. Um, Glasses. Might be. It's uh, <laughs> silver. Um, Got to take the paint off of it. It's a silver scribbler dome. Scribbler dome? dome. It's one of Cinnamon's. I it's like an it. It's an brush from the brush guys. It's from the brush guys. Like it though, don't you? Well, it's working for whatever it is you're doing. Well, what I'm, yeah, I think so too. I haven't dried anything yet, but I think it's kind of working. Well, it seems you like you're so? doing wet on wet right now. I, I am. I'm just kind of doing. It is kind of nice. So let's see what else it can do. Christine went to the Amazon page and she bought those steam rollers that you use. I told her they're great. Oh yeah, and I take them when I'm traveling. I'm telling you what, they really, they really work. They actually keep my hair really nice. And when I'm traveling, they they don't take up any room in the suitcase. And lightweight. Lightweight, really, really lightweight. Absolutely, really, really lightweight. So, um, yeah, I love those. Absolutely, um, absolutely love those. Another Christina's can't find cinnamon's red handled or brushes anymore. Only the cloud brushes can be found. What, Did on you the check brush the guys? brush guys? You've got to check the brush guys. Um, you've got to check the brush guys because they. Um, and remember, you use Ginger Cook as your coupon code, one word. One word. It's got to be one word. People said it didn't work for them. Uh, but it's because they were trying to do two, 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 two words. There's space. There's no space. Um, there's no space. But these guys are so, um, they're so awesome about, um, you know, doing that. There we go. Just put a little of this in there like that. Some, some, something up here like this. Some sort of something coming down here like this. I'm having fun with this. You know, I want a turbulent, turbulent ocean. That's what I'm going for here. What do you guys think? I think you're getting there. I think I'm getting there without drying it. It almost looked like an underwater octopus. Somebody suggested an octopus, that purple. Yeah, with that top. thing. To, doesn't yeah. it look like that? Yes. Yes and but yes. But I knew once you started adding the splash, and I go, no, we're above, we're above the water. Let me just dry it real quick, and then I'll keep going, because I, I think I kind of like this. This is my oceany wave here. All right, I think I've muted her. Hello? Oh, I think so. I think you guys hear better than me. Remember, when you use the, uh, when you purchase things from the brush guy, put in Ginger Cook, one word for your coupon code, get 5% off. Um, in U.S., you spend, I don't remember how much you have to spend, but we always spend close to $100 every time, so we get free shipping. So you hit a certain amount, you get free shipping from the brush guys in the U.S. Yes. Not international. That I know of. Now, here's the thing, people, you know, this has come up often, and let's talk about it. It's come up often in that people ask, um, well, why do you sand your canvases? You spend some money on some good brushes, and that can't, yeah, those canvases will wear, will, uh, wear those brushes out much faster than you want. So, uh, the, you sand, one of the reasons you want a smooth canvas, too, is to... Um, is is to to avoid having that happen yes yes and yes yes and yes yeah yes and yes absolutely okay now we had a comment come in the other day in regards to too much chat on the youtube channel would you like to chime in on that yeah the guy said it, it's more information less chat that was his comment i left it up too i thought that was nice of me considering he was talking about last night's show last night wasn't that chatty was it well i didn't think it was but you know what i mean, I mean some know. days were really blabbing you know last it, night. again you know if you don't want to chat join the academy ginger cook live dot gallery and there's no chatting going on just ginger teaching yeah oh yeah no there's none this is our chance to talk to you people find out what's on your mind and be able to see where you're struggling what you want to work on you know that's this is our social hour or two yeah it is it's, and, it's, and it's fun right we think so well you know, i hope you guys Janus are... got two feet of snow negative 34 degrees centigrade 
and we will be thinking of you as we're in the Caribbean. Do you sand the Paramount pads? Yes. Yeah, we do too. We sand everything. Except unless it's linen, then you, you need to go watch. That. Go over to the Tech Bears YouTube channel and look at the videos that I've done on the backgrounds that I do. Please tell me about sanding the canvas. If you don't sand your canvas, you are painting. You're taking your brush across sandpaper. Fill the canvas and see how rough it is, and take some sandpaper to a very fine, like 330 or 280, 220, just fine sandpaper. Go watch that video. It's like I got a whole playlist over there. It shows you how to do it, and it saves your brushes. It does. It absolutely does save your brushes. Um, this is kind of fun. I'm having fun with this. It's very um, kind of abstract. Did you shake wave. that enough? Did you hear a ball on that one too? I don't know. I didn't. I'm just curious. No. Okay. I did not hear a ball. Now she's applying, that was Golden's Fluid. Yep, sanding uh, is, it gives you a smoother surface. Oh yeah, it's a much smoother surface to work with for detail, right? And if you really want detail, go to linen. Yeah, go to yeah, go to linen, right? That is really a cool painting. I need to give that one up. How many people are going for that one right now? Oh, I guess about two hundred and ten. Okay. How many that's people fair. we have on? Four hundred. Only half you people want this painting, really? Uh, they could be watching. How do they enter for the painting, John, if they're um if they're um, on a phone or, you know, they may be in circumstances where they can't... You think um, half our audience is on something they can't use? I don't know. I don't know. And they could be, right? If you're on television, you can't do it. Uh, if you're on you TV... You can do it on your phone, though. You, can, you should be able to do it from your phone, your iPad, your tablet, you know, and your The thing of it is, is that, and I understand it because th what happens is these lovely um, uh, companies, they... Um, they upgrade, and then what happens is, um, I don't know, I'm kind of liking this. It's just sort of, it's, it's, an, it's kind of an abstract wave thing, but I kind of like it. Let's pull it down. Miss Peabody, me, 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 pick me. Apparently she wants this one. Okay, now I'm going to dry it and show you a little trick on glazing when I do it, shall I? Oh, you're going to dry it? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, while she dries that, she's going to be finishing up here shortly, so go ahead and get your entries in now. Oh, we have somebody from Dubai. Welcome from Dubai in the Middle East. What time of the day is it there? It's probably tomorrow. We have somebody from Dubai watching us. Oh, wow. How what time do you think that? it is in Dubai? What? What time is it in Dubai, do you think? I have no idea. I wonder what time it is in Dubai. It's like halfway around the world. You know, if you go um, Qantas Airline, you stop in Dubai, but you just stay at the airport. You don't really? actually get to get, yeah. Qantas, not Qantas. Yeah, it's not Qantas. It's uh, Qantas is Australian. What is it? Um, it's not Qantas. It's um, Norwegian? No, no. It's not Qantas. It's actually... Um, it's not Qantas, and I'll think about it in a minute, but there's a one airline, because it comes from there, it's, and it, I can't think of the name now, okay. Qantas, is, Qantas is Australian, it's not Qantas. Anyway, they end up stopping, it. you stop in Dubai, here's some glazing, this is something you want to have, satin glazing medium, right? You asked about that? And what you're doing here is you just, um, I'm going to take a little ultramarine blue and a little bit of glazing medium, like, like that, right? You're off the screen. Put it uh, right, right, right here, right like that, yeah, right. Okay. And it's just, it's, and you've got to have a clean, you've got to have a clean brush. You can't have any white on your brush. Your brush has to be really clean, right? So let's do it again. Here's the glazing medium. It's 7 a.m. to in Dubai. Wow. Okay. So you're very kind to get up this early and say hi. Well, say hi to you, right? <laughs> so there were about 12. Uh, I bet you know there. You know. So, hours. All right. So here I'm going to just, 
Oh, so you're push pushing the, the the whites you just put on there, you're putting a blue tint you're, on You're them. putting a blue tint on them, push them back, see? Emirates? Was it Emirates? Yeah, Emirates. yeah, Emirates, Emirates Airline. Then, of course, that's the real posh one. It's supposed to be really nice. But, uh, you know, I was checking. We were just checking because John and I are doing a little traveling this year. and um, A little. And uh, uh, hmm. I, I think it's kind of neat that they actually stop in Dubai. See how I just sort of tone that down a little bit here, and I'm just going to... Uh, you really didn't so want did, something that bright in the I didn't corner. want something that bright in the front, right? So that's why I did it. Some people always say, when do you, um, when do you, when do you glaze something? You glaze it when you want. Um, you're controlling where your viewer's going to be viewing. Yeah, you're going. You're, you're controlling where the viewer's going to be. So I've got a little bit of, of white here like this, and see, this is where I. Our Dubai visitor loves your painting. They are amazing. I try to follow a few when I can. Oh, thank you so much. All right, so then. Do we you guys know how to slow down these videos? You know how to slow them down. Down in the control panel, you can slow her down. Yeah, and mm. I understand that. You know, and I understand if, you know, I had a girl, good girl friendship from Germany. And I uh, met her here, in, um, in, and she and her husband lived in Houston for a while. And um, she said that um, I talk so fast, she couldn't understand half the words I say. And she said she felt she really understood English when she finally understood what I was talking about, right? <laughs> But I under, and I apologize. I do speak very fast because I'm thinking fast. Does that make sense, you guys? I'm thinking so fast. Her brain is going faster than her mouth can, but her mouth is doing its best to keep up with it. And and we get the privilege of all this knowledge all at right, the speed so of there's light. A, there's this um, sort of surreal wave and rocks. We have not been to the Scottish Highlands yet. We have Ireland this year, don't we? We have Ireland. Yeah, we do have and Ireland we have, this year. Um, we a have, visit there. we're going to do the Baltic. So we're doing Estonia, I don't Holland, um, not Norway, but we are doing Sweden. Um, St. Pete, that's a big Saint, one. St. Petersburg, two days in St. Petersburg, right? For sure, okay. I think on a computer, I don't know if you can do it on the iPad. No, you can't. Do you see iPad. how I'm just kind of making this water? On a water? computer, you have down in the lower right corner of the player, you should have a way to um, set the speed. It may not do it on a live show. You might have to wait till after this is up and... Okay, so there's our water coming down. Here's our green. All right, people, last call for entries. Oh, my, we have a, quite a bit that just came in. All right, there's our um, there's our picture. I think people are feeling like, uh, what if we glaze this with a little green? What do you guys think? Where? Right there, instead of the blue. I'm almost thinking I want green there. Let's see what happened if we add a little green. Or the this uh, the thalo green is very translucent. Did you know that? It's a very translucent color. And as is long that as everybody is everybody's that way, or just um, yeah, the whole bunch? everybody's. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's kind of translucent. So if I took a oh there you go. Let's, let's use more brushes. Well, I don't want any white on it. That doesn't work. Does that make sense? Did you hear me? There. There we go. Look at that. You there still you see a little Just bit a little of bit of green it. over that. Uh, that, that there you that go. Ties like in that. Better. that kind of ties in better. That doesn't uh, take your eye off the... When you said you can't slow down the live as well. Oh, that'd be fun. You can? Well, well Wendy would in know. In the upper She's right our... corner on the iPad. I didn't look at the right corner. I may not on mine because I'm, I'm in a control center. All right, so I've got, all right, there oh, we yeah, go. So we've feature, got really. sort of a vignette here of um, our uh, water coming down here like that. Kind of, a, there, there's there's our um, our wave. Kind of like this, it feels very, out, I, I don't know. It's kind you of can almost, do the same thing in the academy, yes. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's in the lower right-hand corner in there. I'll do a little video for that one too. Because there's two ways you can do that one. When did Ginger start using Thalo Green? She uh, used to I hate do it. it. I use it in the Wave and Water class. Yeah, we always use it in Wave and Water. And sometimes it's just sort of a fat. You know, you don't need it because you can make it yourself. But it's such a fast cheat. You know, I it's guess it's a great it's, color though. It is a great color. So like one more brush stroke and I'm good to go, you guys. One what, what? more. One more what? One more little bit of paint, and I'm good to go. Right there, I want a little bit of white right there. All right, people, last call for entries. Gals, can you put up the link one more time? 
Okay, that's it. I'm signing it and calling it done. Uh, uh, I did somebody ask, and I apologize for not asking this earlier, how do you come up with the names for your paintings? Do your paintings talk to you? Do you have a list of names that you paint to? Or how do you title your paintings? Well, like, paintings? for instance, this one, um, for instance, um, Trouble was, um, this one here, was actually the name of the guy in 1800 gave the dog, right? Did he call it Trouble? Called it Trouble, too. Oh, I didn't know that. But um, this one, I came up with this one, Rain, uh, uh, they look like rainbow eyes to me. They, the eyes look like all the colors in the rainbow. And this was an actual photograph where the eyes were that. I didn't make that up. That was an actual photograph. And I just thought that was so pretty. And um, we are going to have coming up on YouTube while we're gone. Can I show that real quick, John? Can you hand me that? Nope. Nope. Here. I'm wired in. Okay. Oh, good. Here's, um, do you see this right here, this eye? Ooh. Ooh that's actually going to be um, a YouTube tutorial on just how to do the eye for this cat. Yep. And that's going to be coming up while we're gone. And if you want to, then later want to come down and do the whole cat, you can. But I'm going to show you how to just do this eye. That'll be a YouTube lesson while we're gone. You know? Don't and think we're going to forget you while we're gone. We're going to do some great stuff here. We're and keep uh, you guys we busy. appreciate it. You know, we appreciate the donations. We appreciate the fact that you're watching and that you hang in there with us. And when you put videos in the playlist and share them, we're that's that video too. very helpful. We got so much to do. You Did know? you sign it? Yeah, I don't see your signature. I'm gonna no, I'm signing it right now. Okay, people, last call, last call. Here it goes, here it goes. No more. Okay, click. There it is. Part of me wants you to know, just... a good thing your name is in rumpled stilt skin. Well, yeah, isn't it? It really is. Ginger, you sound wheezy. Are you okay? I am okay. A little stuffed up, but I'm all right. I think some of you heard my story about the um about the rug in my living room. I think I told that story yesterday. <laughs> that um, I have to admit, though, you have not been that bad in the mornings anymore. No, I, I used to go through whole blocks of Kleenex. Yeah. And I have not been that bad in the mornings. All right, so there's a, this is a, this reminds me, there's a wave in La Jolla. There's a, a part of the ocean in La Jolla, California. And while it's not these Hawaiian color of water, this is more tropical, they've got these giant waves that come in there. And tourists like to go down there. It's all fenced off. And they like to go down and kind of go past the barrier and stand out on the rocks. And um, every once in a while, just one tourist gets washed out to sea because big wave comes in and goes, <laughs> bye. Uh, <laughs> waves are powerful things. Hey, and, um, is there a difference between phthalo green and phthalo green blue shade? I don't know. You'd have to Thalo buy them both and see. And Let us know. Unless it says yellow shade. So there must be a yellow and a blue shade. That, well, you know, Liquitex used to just make a phthalo blue, and then it was phthalo blue, red shade, and green shade, and then ultramarine blue, red shade, and green shade. <laughs> and it gone on and on and on, and it's just like lipsticks. You know, every time you turn around, they, it's a uh, passion It's just way, more ways for you to buy paint. To, to, you know, I, I wonder about that sometimes. That's what that artist handbook is. So that's also on Amazon, and it's in our new store where you can see it. What is and it? The Artist Handbook. Oh, and yeah. basically, um, it gives you the formula across all brands. It's a very clever yeah. book. John, are you taking the camera for live videos on the birthday cruise? We're taking the camera. They won't be live, but we will upload snippets. Okay. Well, I think this is kind of fun. We're done. I hope uh, you've got your entries in. I, I like this. I think this would be stunning larger now. This feels, this could be done very beautifully. So I need to take a good picture of it before we get rid of it. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, that could be, uh, absolutely. All right, entries are being closed at this time. Thank you all for those that entered. All 272 of you. Yep. Remember, we still have one other painting out there that's available for a giveaway. Which is this our, one for anybody watching. What's, do you, what's it called? Uh, this was the, uh, we did this the first of the year and it was just uh, the martini glasses. Yeah, martini. And it, with the olives and stuff. And this was, uh, this we're giving away. Anybody doesn't have to watch live to win this. And the entries are going to be. Um, Until uh, the 31st. Yeah, well, the entries will close oh. the 31st and then when we're live again, we'll, we'll, draw, we'll it. draw for it. But anyway, there's our uh, our ocean wave, which is, uh, I love the purple in this green, and I think your green background really inspired this. And uh, we've got a little bit of the orange up here, so it's just a tiny bit of complementary color up there with the orange to give it a little color surprise. And I like that little cloud brush of cinnamons. I don't always use it, but I like this. 
this one here. This was a fun little brush, wasn't it? Kind of like that one. And again, uh, people always ask about, um, you know, those brushes. I mean, uh, that she's done, and she's gotten, she really put together some great brushes. And one of our favorites is the varnish brush. And I, honestly, and before I found that, I never used a varnish brush. Oh, you know, a specific varnish brush. I would just find a, some sort of cheap brush that the hairs weren't coming out of and use that. But this varnish brush that that, that um, it's by Silver, it does le it leaves no marks in the picture and it's just beautiful. It's stunning. Yeah, yeah, really, really good. Okay, are you done chit chatting? Mm -hmm. People are on pins and needles for this painting. Okay. And what's it called? Oh. Uh, Okay, she'll be thinking on that. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Anybody got any names for me? Write those in while he's running. Come help me come up with a name. I don't know. Echo. Pick a number between one and two hundred and seventy two. Your random number between one and two hundred seventy two is ten. <laughs> ten? Really? You always go the other way. I think it should be called Maui Surf. Maui Surf? Mm hmm Good title. Oh, Anna, Rex, thank you for your donation. You snuck in there as my back was turned to you. Yeah, well, who, who won the picture, John? The picture was won by D. Toms. D-E-E-T-O-M-S. Congratulations, D. That's awesome. Of the painting with no name. No, it's Maui Surf. Maui? Maui, M-A-U-I, Maui Surf. That's an island in Hawaii. Surf. There we go. Oh, Rogue Wave, that would have been good. Tempest, another mm, one. That would have been good. Wild Rogue Wave waves. is good too. Wow. That's... Surf's up. Oh. Should we rename it? I really like Rogue Wave, don't you? I like Rogue Wave. All right, we were going to rename it. We think that's even better. <laughs> who did the Rogue Wave? Who did? The, who said Rogue Wave? Uh, I got to find it. Who said Rogue Wave? Hey, you think I can find it? Yeah. Who did Rogue Wave? I got Wild Wave. Rogue Wave. That would be Robbie K. Robbie, Robbie K. K. Robbie K. You have just won a. Um, you just. What did they win, John? A downloadable, downloadable lesson. Downloadable lesson. Well, you know, I <laughs> was going to say that, but he's doing sign languages, <laughs> and I'm going a downloadable <laughs> lesson. I was going to say that. I didn't need you to tell me that. Then you started waving over there, and uh, whoops, whoops, let's save the panic here. All right, Robbie oh, K. You for Robbie, that wonderful title. You just go to um, go to our gingercookondemand.com. That's any any downloadable lesson up to forty nine ninety five. I think that's the. That's, oh, she's uh, a Robin, officially Robin. Okay, Robin, you've won that, and you you can just uh, pick the lesson you want, then tell John, and we'll give you the code for it, so you can download. Thanks for the, thanks, thanks for, for the Rogue Wave. Thanks for the Rogue Wave. We love it. That's a great title. Thank you very much for that. I think oh. it's very pretty. Um, and you know, this wave has a lot of movement and emotion. This is a very peaceful pastoral scene, right? And it's nice, but uh, when you look at something like this, this has great movement and emotion. Someday, I think I might might make something like this much larger. Much, much larger. And we'll, we'll do a wave like this for a Wave and Water Master Class. This sort of came, um, you know, out of just... Thin air. Thin air, but I, I'm liking it, right? So, hope you did too. Congratulations on that. You're always going to get surprised when we do these free giveaways because at the end of the show, because so much of the time it's just whatever I happen to be thinking of at the time or, you know, make up. So... Or maybe I've found a f photo ahead of time that I might be inspired by. But mostly it's just, this one was just, what can I come up with? Kind of like that snowman I did when he was playing golf. Wasn't that cute? Yeah, that? I, I hated to see that one go. I know, snowman playing golf. All right, so hopefully you'll join us again on uh, on Friday. Yeah, at what time? 7.30, Friday. What about uh, Saturday? And Saturday at 1, put, us in your, put down the book and look for a gem tomorrow, a ginger's gem tomorrow. Uh, we will be launching one, another one of those. So check. on Tuesday? No, on Wednesday. <laughs> the gems, we have a schedule. Are you so gonna so we're going to do a gem on Wednesday, and then the follow. We'll do one this week, which will be on Wednesday, and then the following um, Wednesday we'll put another gem up, and um, 
and be then, full of surprises. And full of surprises, and then stuff from our trip and everything. And all the best, you guys. Thanks for watching, and thanks for all the donations that came in. Appreciate and it very much. Thanks for all the fish. Bye, and uh, have fun painting. Have fun painting. So the show's over. Honey, the show's over. Man. I know. I know. Come here, Sammy. You can say goodbye to and everybody. I, and I, guys, be sure to remind me, and I'll tell you the lady I like that I watch on YouTube for the makeup. A makeup lady. Bye, Sammy. Bye. Say goodbye. Okay, so now we have to push our buttons over here. Okay, this is cool. We've got to put our thumbnail up, make that official. And we'll keep you updated on whether or not my exercise ring, um, uh, you know, inspires it. it. So far, it's inspired more sleep, but I don't know if you think that's a good <laughs> thing or not. I think that's a great thing. <laughs> but honestly, the first night, I thought I'd gotten all the sleep. I said, sorry, lady, you only got three hours sleep. And the night after that, it was five, I'm thinking. And, and they recommend seven. So I'm thinking, well, okay. So maybe not going to bed till two in the morning. Maybe I should change when I go to bed. That might help. Who knows? But um, Are you done? No. Bye. <laughs> you, know, you said goodbye a half an hour ago. Did you turn us off? I can try. <laughs> Sammy and Judy, take us home. Bye. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.